It's time to face the mace. Uh, did, did you see what I did there? <clears throat> anyway, what is up everyone? It's CMG here, and I believe the time has finally come to tackle another Overwatch Top 5 Skins video. And this time we're taking a look at Brigitte's skins. So Brigitte is of course another support hero, and one that I've decided to play a lot more than usual, since I'm stuck in support jail. And well, I couldn't help but notice a handful of some really cool looking skins out there that Brig has in the game. So much so, that I feel it would be really good to do a nice top 5 video on them. So I hope you're sitting comfortably, because here we go. The top 5 Brigitte Legendary skins, in my opinion, of course. Now before we go ahead and start talking about these skins, I want to remind you all once again, if you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. For those of you that have done it already, thank you. I really highly appreciate you. Also, stick around until the end of the video to discover a skin that I personally do not like for Brigida. Alright then, so let's get this top 5 started. Okay, so the number 5 Brigida Legendary skin to kickstart this list will be the Feskan Legendary skin, or the Fisherwoman skin. This is a skin that you unlocked as part of the Summer Games event in Overwatch 1. So Brigida here is basically dressed up to go on a proper fishing trip. I feel like in Sweden you definitely do a lot of fishing, right? So this is a great looking skin for her. In fact, actually looking at this, this is a sort of fisherman lifeguard hybrid. And the only reason why I say that is because it's, you know, all of, all of the orange padding that you can see, not just around the top area of the skin, but also the shield. It is very detailed in that area. And of course you have the yellow padded suit, thick boots, and then a fishnet that's acting as some kind of lower sash to cover the lower part. And then you have the fish hanging down from the other side. And let's not forget the cap as well that she is currently wearing. I've used this once or twice. Respectable skin. But there are some that scale a lot better. Ha! <laughs> scale. Fish. Scale. Alright, so in the number four position, I reckon I'm going to be putting in Brig's Opera Lunar New Year skin. So of course, as the name suggests, Brigida is portraying a cultural Chinese opera singer. She's wearing tons of makeup on her face, which is a tradition as well. Uh, there are some reds, aquamarines, golds, whites as well. I do like the mixture of colors here. I think they all go really, really well together. And I also really like the pretty looking headgear as well. Briggs Mace has been given a real makeover here as well. It looks unlike any other mace from other skins. I could be wrong in saying this, but I feel like Briggs Mace is sort of depicting some sort of lotus flower maybe? In, in the way that it's designed at the bottom somewhere, I have no idea. I think this skin is very traditional and very pretty looking. I feel that they might just be a little many two colors added here, though. I mean, I said before that it looked really cool in terms of the way that all the colors go together, but maybe, maybe it might be a little bit too many colors somewhere. Hence why it's only down in fourth position. I mean, it's not like with other skins that I know that have way too many colors, but I feel that if they were to take at least one color away from the collection here, it would be a bit better, but that's just me nitpicking. Anyway, so in the bronze position, number three on this list, I have decided to put Riot Police Brigitte from Anniversary. This is a very cool looking skin. This is the type of skin that fits her character incredibly well. I, I was actually procrastinating over the idea of putting this skin at number one, given the idea that I use the skin more than any other, but I don't know. I, I just feel that there are skins a tiny bit better than this one. First and foremost, all of the police armor that she is wearing, let's say, and of course the helmet and the visor, and her mace has a little electrical particle effect on there as well to symbolize that the mace might be some sort of taser to shock victims and take control. Looks very, very neat. And of course, we're not using too many colors here either. We're only using one or two, which is fine. Yeah, I know I'm pretty strict when it comes to color usage, but hey, it's only my opinion, right? Right then, so at number two on this list, I am going to put the goat skin. The skin that I'm currently using right now. And funnily enough, I actually really love the skin. I love how unique it is, especially when Brigida is wearing purple hair instead of her usual brunette look. Now there is only one way you can get this skin and that is with Overwatch League tokens. Yes, that's right. This is an owl exclusive. Now the reason why Brigida is dressed up here in some sort of whitish blue goat knight attire is because the word goats is a very familiar term if you watch a lot of overwatch esports 
Goats is the name of a contenders team that were responsible for devising a strategy where you play with three tanks and three supports. Brigitte was one of these heroes used in this comp and they pretty much annihilated everybody in their path. So much so that this goat strategy became the meta pretty much overnight and well it got far too strong to a point where every team started to use it including in Overwatch League and it got really boring and Blizzard did everything in their power to nerf heroes <coughs> Brigida and refine the game so that goats wasn't as strong. It didn't work so they came up with a fixed 2-2-2 setup. 2-2-1 now in Overwatch 2 to kill the goats meta dead but that didn't stop the devs from making a historical landmark on the whole ordeal and so this skin was created in a way of commemorating these days. I mean it looks quite nice, I mean you've got the goat's armor, you have all the white padding, uh, all this blue stuff going on and yeah I just think that the whole skin just looks really really awesome to look at. I do love it. Very very nice. Right so we'll get to the number one pick for Brig skins in a moment but before we do that I just want to remind you all once again don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and then send a comment down below and also turn on your notifications. Definitely worth doing. Right then, at the number one spot on this list, the best Brig skin of all time, in my opinion, is Vampire Hunter. Now, before I start talking about this skin, I want to give a brief honorable mention to Shield Maiden here as well, because I feel both of these skins feel similar in terms of cultural design. Obviously, the Vampire Hunter is, of course, Vampire Hunter from Halloween, but Shield Maiden is also sort of cultural uh, in terms of the Viking era, and I just feel that both these cultures kind of like fit in the same sort of design. I, I don't know how you can describe it, but it kind of like feels like the same sort of cultural thing. I like both of these skins, and it would be extremely tough to leave one of these out, but here I'm just going to go with Vampire Hunter because... I honestly think it's refined a little better, not by a whole lot, mind, but I'm just thinking maybe it might be a little bit easier on the eye. But let's just talk about this skin. First, we have the drooping coat. We have skulls for knee pads and shoulder pads, and I absolutely adore the hairstyle. I think it's really, really cute. It's sort of, sort of tied back in a nice sort of tidy bun. It's very, very cute. And for a while, I was actually wondering where on earth is the stake? Because if you're a vampire hunter, you need to know how to take out vampires, right? And the only way to do that is by a stake. So I was looking around and well, the stake is located at the back, right at the bottom of her sort of backpack there. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of difficult to spot, but there it is. And of course, what about the weapons? Well, the mace looks like a really cool Halloween themed green filled lantern, while the shield is it sort of has a cool looking skull design with some iron and wood finishes to boot. I think it looks awesome. Very, very well done. And yeah, it's my favorite skin because I just like Halloween. Uh, and uh, I think it's sort of the, the whole theme around Halloween, not, not watching horror movies, but sort of like the whole Halloween theme and sort of like the the, the occasion, the, the, the time during the year for it. So yeah, it looks awesome. And yes, it is my favorite skin for Brigida. So there you have it guys, those are my best Brigitte skins. Now, when it comes to the skins I don't like, to be honest with you, I just don't like the first skins, Marnie or Soul. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've had no reason to use them. <sighs> I don't know, It just they just feel a little bit outdated in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe you like them, but I just feel that because of the fact that they're a little bit old in terms of them being in the game for a long time and I've not really had a real reason to use them, compared to any others. Uh, I don't know, I just don't really like the idea of them. All right then, so that'll be the end of today's video. Those were my top five Brigida skins. What do you think? Uh, let me know what your favorite Brigida skins are in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this idea for content and you wanna see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can check me out on all of my other social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course, my TikTok. Thank you for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been CMG as always, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.